Hello, people of the internet. My name is Jared from Crimson Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Galaxy. Last time we wrapped up the, what we could with the Good Egg Galaxy, and now we're moving on to something different. And looks like it's the Honey Hive Galaxy, so let's go and have ourselves some fun. I wish I could have recorded this sooner than expected, but that's not the case this week, I guess so. But we're going to jump right into things. And Mario's going to have a grand old time. And we're starting out with B Mario Takes Flight, which is a spoiler alert to what is to come for this mission. A couple star bits in this plant. Okay. Hello, but Bumblebee! New bees must greet her highness Queen Bee. Oh wait, I need to give him an accent. Welcome to the Honey Hive Kingdom! Our queen rules this land! I can talk like this if I want to! That's probably gonna get annoying real fast. I'll only do it a couple times. Alright, these guys are dead. They're all dead. What's this question mark here? All right, there is the item of the day that we need. I don't know if it's the honey honey shroom or what it's called officially. Is it the wonderful? That's a queen's castle. Okay, thanks. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> That's a nice pose for Mario to look at the camera with. You transformed into be Mario. Hold B to buzz around. Okay, that's funny. Okay, you can, I think it's, you can hold B and A. Yeah. You can also use the A button. All right. Let's get on with our quest. We have these bugs here. And typically they would run away from Mario, but if Mario is in his B costume, then they feel the sudden urge to get attracted to Mario, which is kind of disturbing. Okay. I almost went down there, but a couple people have missed this one up behind here. All right, down we go. A couple star bits along the way. I hope my camera doesn't fail today. That rhymed. I'm using a different setup today. Using a different setup. I'm kind of testing all of the ways that I can record in hopes of finding the best solution. And looks like this bee is carrying honey. Honey is heavy! Okay. Yep, I didn't hear what you had to say. Sorry about that. Nintendo paid the guy to... <laughs> Nintendo paid their employees to have every creature say something, but chances are we're going to skip right over the dialogue of 50% of them. Sorry, Nintendo. And when Mario, whenever Mario hits this water, he will immediately exit. Or if he gets hit by an enemy, he will immediately get, exit his B Mario outfit because bees don't like water. But let's go get the shroom once more. And I like that I can use my cursor under my desk. It helps. I don't have to raise my arms up high and raise the roof or anything. Okay, we're up here now. I'm not sure if there's any star bit requirement for this world. What I mean by that is I don't think there's any hungry Lumas wanting our star bits every second we get. But I believe there are a couple silver stars over here. But we're not going to get to them yet because we're going to be introduced to a vine of sorts. And we're also going to be introduced to climbing on the honey walls. Okay, star bits right over here. An extra B Mario outfit should you want one. And these coins are not required whatsoever, but I'll get them. I'll leave that one out because he's lame. Okay, let's go up here. We've got coins everywhere. They're pointless. And, ooh, there's a question mark right here. More coins that we don't need. Oh, okay. So we're going up here now on our merry way. There's gonna be a queen bee at the top of this thing. Okay, here we go. What? How? Oh, and who might you be? A physician, we presume? 
No matter, we are in the most vexing predicament and require assistance. The most furious itchiness plagues our entire being. It must be stopped at once. Please find the so- Oh, okay. It must be stopped at- it Please find the source at once. Why can't you just say it must be stopped at once? You totally removed my dialogue. Or you f switched around my dialogue. Okay. So we're gonna get, and it's not silver stars actually, they're star chips. And this kind of feels weird, just crawling around Bumblebee's back in places that Mario really shouldn't be. Get it? I made a bee pun when I was talking. Okay, I'm a genius. And into the next launch star we go, and we're headed up here. I think I'm just gonna rhyme all day, Captain Toad. would get us and then we got lost with the Ouija. Oh, I just remembered we found a power star. I'm sure you need this, so here, take it. Yeah! Okay. I love doing my toad voice, but it really takes a toll on my vocal cords. Okay. Woohoo! So that's the first mission of Honey Hive Galaxy Down, and now we're just gonna head on to the next one, just like this. Okay, my snapping power doesn't seem to be working. We have, uh, we're right here. I've discovered a new galaxy, but we're not going there yet. It appears Rosalina has something to say before I can use my snapping powers. What was her accent again? Didn't I make a country? Mario? Your name is Mario, isn't it? That is what I heard from your friends who just arrived. Mario, it has such a nice ring. Your friends are waiting for you in the garage. It doesn't really look like a garage since there's no roof. I think they want to tell you something, so you'd best hurry on over there. I know who she sounds like. She sounds like Herbert. <laughs> the power stars are our friends. I implore the pools help them. Okay, I will. Well, now I'm going to use my snapping powers. Okay, here we go. Okay, next mission. Here we go is trouble on the tower. And we are going to be the uh, health inspector and see if there are any bugs. Okay. Something about bugs. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Alright. This one doesn't really... This I don't like this block right here. Because it only gives you three star bits or so, and then it disappears. It's kind of a pointless place to put it. Okay. We've got stuff right here. They look like food pellets. In another galaxy, not this one. Okay. <clears throat> so if we head up here, we get introduced to a nice looking wiggler man. And when we hit that switch, he flips over, and we want to make sure he's not on his back for too long because then he'll get angry and start chasing us all over the place. I probably missed a whole section of stuff I could have done over there, but oh well. I don't think there are any hidden stars whatsoever. Hello, sign. Do you talk? Hey. Yeah. Hey, yep, it's me, the famous Gilboard. If you want to climb this wall, you better listen up. When you stick to the wall after a jump, press B to do a wall jump. Use a string of wall jumps to reach really high areas. Ugh, okay. Well, I already knew how to do that, but I'm gonna press the A button instead because it's natural for me. And these weird plant looking things do have star bits in them. I don't understand why, but I guess we'll go along with it. Those things look like plumbuses. Uh don't ask me what a plumbus is. <laughs> okay. Here we go up on this launch star. We're gonna see the entire area from up here. <clears throat> and we could get a couple star bits from that. Nice, we got one up as well. We got a bunch of piranha plants on this planet and I don't think we can deal with them from the method I was thinking of. I think it might be coming up pretty shortly though. Pretty shortly. Uh, 
Okay, so those are dealt with. We're gonna go down here. We're gonna collect even more star bits because Nintendo decided let's give the player a ton. Ooh, this could be challenging. Just kidding. That was easy. One ground pound took care of both of them. Okay. So that's done. Let's go on this pole star right here. Is this what I'm thinking of? It is. There is Rainbow Mario Star. Alright, we're gonna totally annihilate every single enemy on this little planet. Including the Wiggler, which has his pieces fly everywhere. Ugh, oh, good gravy. The dark nature of Nintendo sometimes. Alright. BAM! <laughs> Okay. Hi, Mr. B. What do you have to say? Those bandabugs have taken over our observation deck. Ah, they make me so mad. Okay. I think I just changed accents halfway through. Maybe I just gave him the billboard accent and just said, Hey, I'll go along with it. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure there was something down there, but I don't care. Just kidding. I might care. I need to go over here and activate the windmill. But here's our introduction to whatever these bugs are called. Well, let's get onto the windmill, shall we? Okay. Up we go. And we're just heading up here. Hello, Queen! I see you in the distance. Sorry we're not coming to your territory right now. We're going to deal with these fribs up here. Now, this guy is kind of a mini-boss, but at the same time, he's not even a mini-boss. Because look how easy he was to defeat. <laughs> Just two hits and he's done. You can't even call him a boss because he doesn't take three hits of damage, he takes two. Sorry, bud. Alright, next mission, here we go. Hop aboard the mission train is Big Bad Bugaboom. Big Bad Bugaboom! Next to a tree area. And we've got unwanted visitors in B-Man, B-Land territory. Yes, there's a guy named B-Man. <laughs> uh, you know, instead of He-Man. Yeah. Ugh, the whole man about clan has infested our kingdom. Yep, I know, and I'm gonna take care of them pretty simply because you guys don't have the ground pound. Actually, I think they do have the ground pound, it's just not very strong. Okay. Okay. Star bits out of those rubes, and here it looks like we have flood from Super Mario Sunshine, but at the same time, it's not flood from Super Mario Sunshine. Yeah, that's right, you better run. Okay. And not that I need it or anything, but there's a there's a star shroom right there with our name on it. I'm just gonna call it star shroom. I don't care. Just call it star shroom. And will this guy give us anything? No, he's just up here. So where do I go from here? Do I go down this flagpole? Probably. I like that this is kind of open world, but. At the same time, I'd really like to know where I'm heading. I'll go down this pipe, how about that? Okay, down the pipe we go! And we're back here. Okay. Oh, I know where we go. Do we go behind the waterfall, I think? Yeah, it seems like it, considering these things are firing at us. They fired, and then they missed. They missed several times. Alright. Yep, this is where we're supposed to go. Well, I'm just gonna ignore all of you. Bye-bye. <laughs> the neighbors are causing trouble again. We would be most grateful for your assistance. Queen Bee is similar to Rosalina, except Queen Bee's not country. Okay, and that debris is suspended in midair, which is kind of cool, I guess. Okay. And over here we go on to the next platform without dying. I hope I don't die a single time in this episode. Alright. And as soon as we hop onto his territory, here we have Mr. Big Bad Bugaboom. And he's a pretty easy boss to defeat. 
if we if he didn't want us to defeat him, he wouldn't have gotten that tattoo on his back that says ground pound here. And Bugaboom can actually fire pellets out of his abdomen, attempting to hit Mario. But he's not really doing a good job right now, is he? Okay. And in his third form here, he will go on to his side like so, making it a little bit harder for us to ground pound him. Okay, I'm gonna go over here momentarily, and then I'm gonna go over here, and then I'm gonna go over here, and then I'm gonna attempt to ground pound him, but I was too late. But that's okay, he's gonna make another round. And I'm gonna miss again, but that's okay. I'm still not completely used to the switch controls yet, but... Man! Okay. This guy's being... A froob and a half! But I won't be damaged by it. I'm not sure if there's a Daredevil mission where I have to not be damaged or not, but... That hit him, you froob! Okay. <laughs> Let's just cut ahead. Three hours later. Uh, let's... There we go, okay. We just needed to find the right dandelion to swing ourselves from. And Mr. Power Star goes over there. And even if we were to touch the water, we transform back into regular Mario. And we have collected, I believe it's our seventh star. Okay, star number seven under our belt. And we have yet again discovered a new galaxy. As well as a hungry Luma friend outside our door. But we're not going to go for him yet. We're going to finish up what we can for Honey Hive. And it looks like we have finished up Honey Hive, so let's go to the first galaxy that we've unlocked, assuming it is the first one. Flip Switch Galaxy. Okay. This one shouldn't be too bad. I don't think. It will get some getting used to because I'm going to be using the Y button instead of shaking, but we're going to paint the planet yellow today and collect a power star. If this is all there is, then this is going to be really easy. This could be a really easy star. Banner, banner, banner. Banner, banner, banner. Okay. I like this music. It's got a jam to it. Okay. Can you come back, platform? Also, I like the background because it is the theme of Super Mario Bros. 1, which is pretty cool. Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up doing that. Okay. That's right, Jared. You can long jump. And then go over here. Nice. Okay. And that was an easy power star. That was very simple. Once again, love the Mario 1 background. Yeah. I've been playing Super Mario Sunshine and the camera has been acting up a lot. Not this camera that I'm filming with, but the actual in-game camera. A lot of people can sympathize with me on that. Because the camera in Sunshine is terrible. And the camera here is better, but it's just not okay. Okay, we completed our first galaxy. They only had one star in it. And we have discovered an animal boss in the original bubble. We can only hope they are not misusing the power of that poor Grand Star. Well, that Grand Star is going to have to wait because we're completing the rest of the galaxies before we're going there. Okay, what do we have first before that? We completed all those. Now we're going to this new galaxy right here. Eh, that's going to be interesting. loop de swoop galaxy. Now, considering I'm not using the Wii remote, this could be this could be weird. Okay, so I have to hold the uh, Joy-Con 
forward like this, what you're seeing right here. Yeah, just like that horizontally. Surfing 101. Not that I wanted to surf in the first place, but here we go. Hello, penguin man. I didn't want to surf on two. Yes. Oh, but this is your first time resurfing, right? Well then, let me show you the ropes. That's his accent. That's going to be his accent. Okay then. Okay. Uh, interesting. That's going to be difficult. Okay. How about this? Sweet. Okay. I think I've got it. And all you need to hold down is B or A. Okay. Doing good so far. You can probably see my hand movements from here slightly, so... That's a treat for all of you. Okay. <clears throat> and okay. Now if I can control this right, we can get through this with no problem. And the best time is 1.30, so I just need to beat that time and we're golden. I like the music in this game. I cannot emphasize that enough. I love the music in this game. Okay, we're doing really well. We're doing really well. We're doing very well. We're doing better than I thought. I thought I was going to have a problem with this, but nope. And I totally skipped the one-up, unfortunately, but I don't think we'll need it. I say that now, but I could screw up at any time. This song is a jam. <gasps> ah! Okay, we're good. <laughs> uh, okay. And got some coins right here. Oh my god, Mario, don't! <laughs> I've been saying that... I don't say that very many times with Galaxy, but with Super Mario Sunshine, I've been playing that on my free time. Good gravy! Do I say that a ton? Okay. And we got a gold medal, which is the grand, the good old power star. It's not the grand star. Grand star is much bigger. So up to the t first place of the podium we go. And I was going to do a back jump. Thank you. And that is our... Was uh, Flip Switch our 8 star or was the other one our 8 star? It's either, it's either our 8th or ninth star. This is our ninth star, okay. Star number 9, galaxy complete. We got 42 whole coins. We got 579 coal, uh, star bits. And... Is that all the star bits we have? 500? Before I, want, before I go to Bowser, I want to see if we have enough to feed that hungry Luma outside. Because I don't want you on our ship! Hey, you! You you got any tasty star bits? I'll transform if you get enough! 400, okay, yep. There you go, right into your tum-tum. -tum. You are very welcome. You're gonna transform without saying thank you. I understand how it is. He doesn't have manners. None of them have manners in this game. Alright, before we go to the enemy base, we're gonna do a little something called Sweet Sweet Galaxy. We're gonna get all the sweet candy we want there. We're gonna go on the Rocky Road ice cream path. We're gonna get ice cream for free. Mario's gonna live a happy life, and we're gonna go home happy. And... yes. That glorious cake over there. My eye's twitching for some reason, but I think that's just because of the light. And I'm going to need to long jump a whole lot more often if I'm going to be getting through this game quickly. Now that I'm using the Y button, it's kind of difficult because I'm used to shaking the Wii Remote all the time. As some people have seen in my first Mario Galaxy playthrough. But I mean some people, of course I mean no people because no one watches these. <laughs> uh... Hopefully soon, but hmm. time will tell. Time will tell if my content gets liked or not. Ah, uh, one up. Okay. Well, so far this is this is easy so far. Then again, we're in the beginning stretch of all the missions that we can do in this game. 
so there are plenty of more difficult missions to come. Nice long jump. Got over that electricity bar, Mario. Don't do triple jumps. It scares the heck out of me. Ah, uh, what's this toad saying? I love the chocolate. And what's the guy on the spaceship saying? Hey, we're going back. Can we move down the cake? Ah, <laughs> uh, I need to stop doing that toad voice. It's gonna strain my vocal cords. My poor vocal cords. But anyways, Mario has gotten us our 10th Power Star, and I believe now is the time for us to go to the enemy base. After a little talk with the country girl, and uh, what's it, whatever his face is, I still can't remember his name. I looked it up too, but I just can't remember his name off the top. It's Rick, it's Rick, it's Rick, it's Rick, and he is the... Monster in Big Mouth. I'm not. Sh I'm not uh, sure if I should say what kind of monster he is, but that Joy-Con drift. This is not the time to act up. Look what your friends are waiting for you in the garage. I think they want to tell you something, so please hurry up there. Well, they're all froobs. I don't care for them. I can complete this game without them. Uh, this guy is male. Mr. Mario, check it out. I'm <laughs> and I have a letter for you. Uh, dear Mario, I'm in a faraway place, but I'm alright because you're coming to rescue me. Are you sure about that? Are you sure we're not just playing the game for its completion purposes? I guess we're going after her. I hope this gift will come in handy. Princess Peach included five one-up mushrooms. Well, what about ten? I would love them now, thank you. Even when she's kidnapped, she's so thoughtful. What? Our buddies in the garage won't tell you, want to tell you something. Well, fine! I will go to the buddies in the garage because you told me to. Ah, uh, we finished the building, the Starshroom Starship. We'll use it to search for power stars. Uh, when we, the members of the Toad Brigade, will be the brave crew. And this brigade needs a bold leader. So I nominate, um, well, me! Under my command, the galaxies will see the bravery of the Toad Brigade. Okay, well, good for you, Froobs. They could be out in space doing a bunch of research, but nope, they want to collect power stars for Mario instead because they think Mario's not good at it. That's what I think anyway, I'm not sure if they think otherwise. And alright. So we are going back in here and we're gonna go to this Bowser looking head. And it is Bowser Jr.'s Robot Reactor! And we're gonna hit that Bowser planet straight in its eyeball. And we're gonna go see what Bowser Jr.'s up to on Mega Lake's moon. Alright. But first we're gonna get past a very mini planet before then. Okay, we've got the anticipating boss music upon us. That probably didn't make any sense, but it's pretty much the music you get before you encounter a boss. These guys have coins in them, but I don't care. Because I don't need coins right now. Nor are there any hungry Lumas in the near future on our starship. Okay, maybe I do need the coins. Because a bullet bill just hit my face. My glorious face! Okay, come over here, bud! Come over here and help me get this one-up shroom. Thank you. Oh. It was suspended in midair, I see. Okay, Mr. Bullet Bill, follow me! Off to adventure! Just kidding, you're dead. Okay. So we're going to get on this launch star and head over to Mega Legs Moon. And that star bit just flew off without me being able to get it. Alright, Junior High! How's it going? <laughs> you made it! But I won't even need... That sounded like a Toad's voice. I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you! Go get him, Mega Lake! Stop him with the power of your Grand Star! <laughs> That's the best impression of Junior I can do. Okay. That sounds like uh, Junior when he's entering puberty, in my opinion. Water's good for ya. Okay. Hello, Megaleg. 
What's up? You are gigantic. And... The goal to defeat this guy is to jump on his leg. Avoid the bullet bills. And we're gonna go straight to the top. And these gears are easy to avoid. To the top of his head. And then we're gonna use this bullet bill to crack open that safe. And Mega Leg automatically summons more gates and more bullet blasters attack. Ready to attack us. And we're gonna use a good old backflip if we can get one of these bullet bills to follow me. That'd be amazing. That's a Joy-Con drift if I ever saw one. And that's gonna be a little bit different. That's gonna be a little difficult. Uh-huh. Come on, Bull Bill, follow me! Aw, oh, man, okay. Yeah, this could be a little more difficult than usual. If I was playing using the Wii Remote, it would be slightly easier, but... There we go. Alright. Back when I was playing Mario Galaxy the Wii with the Wii Remote, I was able to just easily jump over that fence and get the grand start, but that was a Joy-Con drift if I ever saw one. Uh, it won't affect the gameplay very much, but still, it's something that Nintendo has yet to fix, which I'm disappointed in them about. But they can take their precious time, yeah. Sakurai can continue to release Smash Bros characters and yeah, everything will be hunky-dory. They won't fix the Joy-Con, but oh well, what can you do? You can only ask Nintendo for so much. Heck, they already put Steve in Smash. That's something that I wouldn't think would happen. Anyways, <laughs> tangent aside, we have unlocked a new dome, being the Waterfall Dome. The oh-so-peaceful, majestic, terrifying dome. Okay. And Galaxy is complete. We have a high score of three coins, and we got 241 star bits, and we discovered two new galaxies. And... That ball of flame represents the power of the observatory. We call it the beacon. When you recover a grand star, a little star power will be restored, and the beacon will grow. The common observatory can use that power to fly through the universe. Once all the power is restored, we will even be able to fly to the center of the universe. Oh! The power is on uh, the power is on in a new dome! Yep, the fountain. Thank you for reminding me. The new open dome is called the fountain! It's really quite relaxing! By the way, have you looked at the map? It contains information about galaxies as well as domes. If you forgot the location of a dome, don't hesitate to speak with me. Alright, we can save our game, thank you. Alright, I think I'm going to end things off right here and probably pick up another episode in a couple minutes after I take a short break. But if you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you don't miss any of my future content. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. There are plenty more to come. Whether or not they get released in a decent time, I have no clue, but I will find time to release more episodes in the future. But anyways, I hope you're having a good day so far, and this is Jared from Crimson Gaming, and I am signing out.